the absence of evil in God's works. And God saw that it was good. Genesis chapter 1 In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one true God. Amen. Beloved brethren, the initial revelation bestowed upon us by Holy Scripture unveils the profound truth that our world emanated from goodness, not from the shadows of evil. It originated from the divine essence of God, not from any opposing force or an abstract concoction of good and evil intermingling, intermingled. In understanding the essence of our existence, the second revelation illuminates that every facet created by the benevolent hand of God is inherently good. From the radiant light to the expansive firmament above, from the fertile land to the boundless sea, and from the flourishing flora to the fruitful trees, all bear the mark of divine goodness. The celestial luminaries, the sun, moon and stars, radiate goodness. The creatures of the water and the birds soaring through the air embody goodness. And each living being, according to its kind, is inherently good. The vast array of cattle, small animals, and the beasts of the earth likewise bear the stamp of goodness. And in the apex of this creation stands man, endowed with dominion over all, yet intrinsically good. And God saw that it was good. It is imperative to comprehend that the appraiser of this world's work is not one who superficially glimpses its elements, but the omniscient creator. He who comprehends every aspect collectively and each component individually, knowing their number, names, compositions and essences far beyond the understanding of humankind on earth. And God saw that it was very good. Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. Nevertheless, despite this inherent goodness, there have been those who, blinded by darkness, have dared to slander God's creation. They assert that the very essence of this world is tainted with evil, branding each creation as malevolent and proclaiming that the matter forming earthly beings is inherently wicked. Yet evil resides not in the substance, but in sin, a creation of the malevolent spirit. This fallen spirit separated from God, sows the seeds of evil in our world, giving rise to the weeds among God's wheat. The evil spirit endeavours to wield both the human spirit and material entities as instruments of malevolence, injecting the notion into the human mind that the entire created world is inherently corrupt and that matter itself, the foundation of creation, is fundamentally evil. His sinister motive is to besmirch God's handiwork, concealing his own dark deeds and deflecting blame by accusing God. Dear brethren, let us remain vigilant against the craftiness of the evil spirit. 
let us guard ourselves, especially against the insidious thoughts he sows in our minds, attempting to distort our perception of the inherent goodness of God's creation. O Lord Jesus Christ, our true enlightener and saviour, into thy hands we give over our minds and our hearts. Do thou illumine us with thy true light. To thee be glory and praise for ever. Amen.